Hey everybody, it's Chris here from Rottweiler Performance and I want to give you guys an update on some mapping progress that we've been making with the KTM 790 Duke. Um, we've been spending a lot of time on the dyno with varying exhaust configurations. This is all stock intake, no airbox mods, uh, no open airbox lids, uh, it's all stock airbox and we've been playing around with the exhaust configurations and uh, doing some mapping. So we want to show you kind of what happens, what to expect with varying configurations on the 790 Duke. Um, so the first thicker red line you're looking at right here is basically bone stock mapping. Okay, so as usual, there's always a little bit of a bit of a dip right here on almost all bikes. Next line up here is mapped completely stock. So you can see what happens when you throw on uh, Power Commander 5, our O2 dongles, and uh, our map for over stock. So great gains right here. You're looking at uh, roughly seven horsepower in some of these areas. We've gone from 52 to 58. Um, and it's about six and a half horsepower. Uh, and this is about right where you ride it. This is where you spend most of your time. So uh, this is a great map. Um, pretty good gains up on top. We're looking at uh, you know a couple horsepower up here, uh, pretty much across the board. That's probably about two horsepower all the way across, maybe about one in here. Uh, but a good about six and a half right here, and then some great low end power. This is just over stock. Now, if you decide to put an open muffler on there and keep the stock catalytic converter, this is about what you're looking at. Um, so a little bit of gain on the top. Um, not, there's usually not a ton of gain in just a muffler alone. It's usually uh, weight, looks, and sound should be uh, the three things considered first. And then after that, power. There's always significant weight to be lost, so it's always a great thing. Usually no power loss. There's usually just just minimal gains, not nothing huge. There's not really losses here. You know, all the graphs are kind of different. So we, we'd consider this about the same as mapped stock. Now, this green line is also mapped with a uh, an open muffler and the stock cat. So you can see that, um, you know, there's some decent gains there, but uh, mostly it should be weight, sound, and looks uh, that you're looking at. Now, the big controversy is always to cat or decat. Um, and in our case, we threw an arrow decat on there with an open muffler and mapped it. And look at that. Interesting. So we gained quite a bit of low end here. I mean, there's some significant horsepower to be found in here. There's a couple horsepower, and this is mostly where you ride the bike, right in here. Um, so we, we significant gains across the bottom right until about 6,200 RPM. And then you basically trade off about a horsepower uh, across the board. Not a ton up top, um, not a ton through here. It's not too bad. You pro your butt would probably not even notice it. Uh, in my opinion, it's worth the gains to get this gap right here. This is really where you spend most of your time. This is going to be the stuff pulling you off of the start, pulling you hard out of the corners. If you spend most of your time up here, if you're on a really fast racetrack, maybe it's worthwhile to run uh, our mapping for the stock cat. Um, but you're also paying a bit of a weight penalty. There's about three pounds in there. So maybe a little bit less horsepower uh, past 62, but also less weight. So, you know, that might kind of make up for it a little bit. Uh, now we're going to show you the torque graph here. Uh, it's roughly the same um, as what you're seeing here, you know. Good gains in torque, and again, right about there, there's a little bit of loss. DinoJet uh, calculates their torque uh, mathematically, um, so it's basically, you're always going to see very similar uh, kinds of torque graphs here. So, you know, you, your, your bet is, you know, wherever you're gaining horsepower, you're going to gain torque too. So you can see the torque lines, but we keep them off just to kind of keep the, uh, the screen uh, from looking too confused. So we're going to set this guy to none, and then we're going to bring up our AFRs for all these graphs. So now you can see, basically, obviously stock is going to be lean. You're 15 to 1, some cu couple of spikes up towards 16 here, and then once closed loop signs off, we start to get a little richer. And then we came in and just remapped these entire things and flattened them right out and produced these beautiful AFR lines right here. So anyway, um, this is basically what you're going to be looking at with various exhaust modifications on the 790 Duke. So again, we've got stock, stock mapped stock with an open muffler mapped and this orange guy right here is stock intake open muffler decat system all these maps are available online again they're free when you purchase a power commander on our site as well uh, and this is about what to expect so thanks everybody um if you're watching this on youtube please subscribe that helps us tremendously and if you're watching it on facebook um, please like us and uh that's it see you, everybody